What's going on YouTube? Giusnum right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to manage the data on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch using a program called Dear Mob. This program in here allows you to manage the photos, music, videos and of course do backups and you know manage the files on your device. It does support the latest versions like the iOS 16.1.2 and stuff like that but also older versions like iOS 15, 14, 13 and so on. So the program is available here on 5kplayer.com and it's by DigiArt and the Dear Mob iPhone Manager, this program here, is available as a free trial for both Windows and Mac OS. It does support Mac OS as well. So basically this program can be used for transferring and managing the data over Wi-Fi or USB from your device to your computer and vice versa. You can also do backups and restore the backups if you want to keep backups for your device and also do iPhone migration. If you want to clone your device, you know, to do iPhone to iPhone or iPad to iPad and stuff like that, you can do so when you get a new phone. So it does support a lot of stuff including the Apple Pro RAW which is the Apple format for the photo. It's all supported so you get the biggest quality for the images. You can back up the images in a lossless format. So let's see the program in action. As you can see I have my iPod touch connected over here. It does show how much space you have left in there and if you click for example photo it will go on the device and look for all the photos that are present and as you can see here I have quite a few. Now you also have in here the type of photos for example selfies, live photos, portraits, panoramas, bursts, and even screenshots and as you can see I have a bunch of screenshots in there so exporting pictures from here is pretty simple you can select them like this or one by one and then you just have to press export over here and that's about it it just asks where to save them and I'm gonna select desktop press open and that's about it and as you can see they've all been saved in the WebP format so I'm gonna open one of them and yeah there you go here are the photos so you can see the quality has not been lost that's the original quality of the photo now if you want to export with encryption you can also do so you check this one in here and you can enter now a password for example I'm gonna go with one two three four five six seven eight even though that's not a good password and as you can see once you press ok in here the password will be stored and now you can encrypt all the data for example the photos videos contacts and stuff like that so now when you back up the stuff it will be backed up in a dear mob format instead of the uh, WebP or JPEG or stuff like that. This is not a format that the computer can open. You'll have to actually decrypt the data. This is good for personal photos that you want backed up on the computer but you don't want in plain sight. But how do you get to open them once they are encrypted? Well you go here to data security and to data decryption and once you do that you open add file in here and you select the encrypted file the dear mob file in here from the location. Once you do that it will be available in WebP format as you can see over here and you press decrypt now. It will ask for the password which is one two three four five six seven eight in my case and once you do that the file will be decrypted and you will be able to view it. As you can see it's decrypted and this was the original picture. So this is actually pretty good if you want to store the data safely. Now if you want to do a proper backup of all the data not only the photos you go here to backup and restore and you have the backup and the restore section over here. You can also encrypt the backup if you want with a password. I'm not going to do that and I'm going to backup now. And yes, at this point it is creating a backup of the device. It's that simple. You can manage all the data in one place. This has to be one of the best alternatives to iTunes. In fact, it has way more features than iTunes because iTunes doesn't allow you to backup just one file or to encrypt files and stuff like that. You can encrypt backups, sure, but you cannot extract one video or one photo or one note and stuff like that. While with this one, I can just go ahead and pick whatever I want. Now if you want to restore that backup you just go here to restore backup and you can see the backups available for this device and for which iOS version they were. So I'm gonna select this one, restore now and it will restore the backup. It's as simple as that. Do not unplug the device while you do this because otherwise you can corrupt the data but other than that it's just one click. You select the backup and that's it. There is also the flash drive version over here which basically allows you to store anything on the general storage of the device. You can take advantage of the entire storage that is available so in this case I have like 21 gigs free so I can go ahead and drop any file I want like that JPEG file, the dear mob file and basically any other file you want like this DMG. Everything can be imported and you can basically use your phone as a flash drive and you can move those from one computer to another. It doesn't matter if the phone cannot recognize that format you can still use it as a flash drive and once you're done with that you can delete it by pressing this button and it frees up the space once more. So that's about it. You can also manage the applications on the device. You can see I have the Blizzard and files on 
and stuff like that. And you can also install applications if you have signed applications, for example, if you have an IPA file application, but those have to be signed. So yeah, that's about it with the program, a pretty nifty program that you can use pretty easily to manage all the data on the device. You can export the photos, you can delete them from the device and synchronize the data, and those will be deleted immediately. And of course you can do backups, restore them, and even manage the files on the device. So yeah, pretty nice program, definitely check it out, it's a great alternative to iTunes, and there is currently a Black Friday deal for the one year and lifetime licenses. You can check out their Black Friday deal and you can use the coupon Black Friday to save on those licenses right on their website. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'm Geo Snow. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated and peace out.